assalamu alaikum uh, in this video i am going to show you how you can uh, how you can show your project your php project to your instructor and how you can explain it uh, to your instructor in an efficient way so these are some tips and tricks so let's consider this is our uh, this is our project and uh, and let me open this database so first for first of all you must need to uh, keep in mind this thing make sure you have a xamp install in your apply in your pc and one more thing is you must need to start this apache and mysql okay i just uh, open my uh, c c drive and in the c drive in the, i'm going to I'm going to the uh, our xam folder and the xam folder here is a ht docs okay in the ht docs i have a project dot uh, stm uh, st stdp dot one okay here is a file of sql and other the file of uh, other file is the our code file okay coming to the first sql the first you need to to import your that file okay just come to the uh, to your browser and here you need to write a local host localhost php my admin okay here what you need to write let's suppose you don't have import your and uh, you don't have any import set first you need to import your uh, database okay here stdp the same name of the file and that i just show you stdp1 that is sql you just need to write here stdp1 okay just create it and after the create you need to uh, click on import button and here you can choose the file and after choosing the file you need to just click on the import button after the few sec seconds you will see the you uh, you will see your database like that okay that's it okay so coming to the second point how to show your project so uh, how to show your output of the project first you need to write a local host and here you need to write the path how you can find the path okay just come to the folder and here okay copy this path uh, here just copy it and paste it on your path okay now you can see your project is uh, our project is running and so all the pages are there uh, you can see uh, about.php services.php okay these are the pages are properly working make sure to check it okay coming to the second point how to explain it to your instructor this is the first step you need to do and then explanation part okay as i'm just open my project in visual studio code here you can see there are a lot of files uh, okay admin files and the some files in the uh, above uh, you can say not in the included in the admin okay about config okay first of all you need to write the you check the config and in the config file make sure that the stdp1 name is same as you write the name of your database okay second part okay let's start with the uh, header and folder what i do basically header it's uh, all the file of headers uh, that i generated the use in the our project and and the footer that's all the file of footer that i uh, we use in our uh, project so i just need i just make a separate file for each in order to reduce the code repetition without using that way we need to uh, we need to insert header and footer in the each page but uh, we don't need now we don't need to write anything okay let's start with the our index.php here just i am import this one it's a main home.php file okay import the header and same thing in the and in the import our folder that is the one page okay coming to the uh, another page index and after the index let's let me check okay about page about in the about page okay in the about page less okay here you can see the same thing about contact and in the services these are the same thing as i uh, told you in the index.php okay the here you can now see the function.php the function.php is what here i write about all the function that is used in our project okay uh, 
uh, I just uh, write the two function files. One is uh, one is here and other is in DB. For now, just consider it. user login. These are all the functions that is user user login, submit contact, user register. That's it. Okay, coming to the another point. Okay, admin. First of all, coming to the point. Okay, index. How oh, how it's working? Okay, index is just a simple file. Okay, here is also header. And here is also footer in this page for our admins because the page for admins is different that's why how uh, what i'm actually talking about okay let me check okay let's say when you uh, when the user click on the login page okay here i'm just going to log in our uh, our uh, our admin okay login okay now you can see the header is almost almost as uh, you can change uh this admin is fully changed okay so that's the reason and the name so that's why we are using a two admin uh, two footer and two header and footer okay first i uh, log in the uh, login over login over what login over admin okay and add admin as a role add users as a dashboards schools and users okay just log out okay register page in the register page you can also check the and uh, these things uh, to, uh, to register these things so how you can explain it first you need to open this one and then you need to first register okay register let's suppose Hassan at the level okay one two three password is one two three okay let me try the okay honor submit okay now try it Hassan one two three here, here this time admin not admin honor login now you can see the role is changed business ads okay products uh, products okay you can also write the product let's say okay test test okay test test and choose the file okay let it be now you can see the here is a is a here is file is included delete okay so basically you need to uh, you need to do all the things that you've done in your project okay log out okay same way for all the users you can test it okay now back to the code again for our admins these are all the admins are managed student.php for our students where the students are managed so what students there are main three things sessions you can see first i just want to show you that our index.php after the let me let me give me a minute okay index.php in the index.php when i as you can see okay it's it's uh it's normal okay in the admin.php in this you can check it oh my okay students where by okay okay business dot as you can see i include the sessions so we are dealing with sessions when uh, session mean let uh, whenever the user is uh log into your uh log into their credentials to your account the session is start when it's log out to the account the session is ended same like business ads it's a simple ads for uh, flexibilities okay simple header and footer included okay business owners you can also show this uh, to your instructor okay buy products chats simple chats okay product clubs dashboards same footer same functions these are the functions that are separate function i just i uh, wrote it for every query okay headers okay manage clubs post these are post for same as i use products okay return products schools c ads so as uh, students that the student managed by users how many users so here you can check it users all the users manage how it it may be basically managing the our card yeah basically what actually your instructor want instructor want the output file that is the file you just need to put uh, show you all the functionality by putting the values here and here and the the things with coding you just need to tell them we are using a main functions for each functions uh, by using including and separate function and header and footer uh, uh, separate file and so each each page has own header and own, own folder 
and each function is every function is written in our function dot php that way we are just using in our application for moreover you can also read your project and if you have any questions you can ask in the comment box as well as uh, uh, if you want an, an, any extra instruction from me i can also give you okay that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, 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 it may be a little bit confused for you but don't worry about it just read the instruction then you will be able to uh, understand this thing as well take good care of you we'll see you in next work or you can say we'll see you in next session thank you so much bye bye allah hafiz